Hey, I just talking to Sue. She rang me up. She wanted me to uh, want you to ring her up. She's been away in hospital, and oh, yeah. yeah, she hasn't been well, but she's alright now. She fell over or something, oh, and well. she's oh, yeah. she just told me she got her funding coming soon, but I've been waiting for that for a long time from Russia, uh, but she uh -huh. she just wanted to talk. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. So she got some filled me in with some more stuff. Uh, but um, she just wanted to see what was going on up at Waitangi. I got booted off the place, mate. I've so was saying, yeah, I've Titi. That's what I'm talking about. Hey? When? Uh, the, the 28th, uh, after that, when I went out uh, after, because uh, Coco, Coco uh, Jackson went and let me stay at her place, but she left me parked up there. I couldn't get to uh, the 28th, that's well, why you didn't see me there. On the 28th. Oh, no. I was stuck at a place in Hokianga where I've been having hui all the time. Oh, and they no. made them. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm running out. Okay. Yeah. All Hello? Hello? Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah no, I've got three phones now and this is my new number. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah, that's why you, you, you can see the strange number. That's, I've, got, I've got another phone where I can hook everything up to the pound note and the, and the shares now is going to kick off after the 18th when I have a hui up in Taheke. That's it, that, eh? That's for uh, uh, Hori Tikuri. 
on these British titles over there uh, that I'm I'm going to wrap up um, uh, uh, Mor Morris um, Morris uh, uh, Baker's titles. He's got his lands back, and and the crown can't touch him. I'm going to have a look, at, and and that's where a native court was in that Tahiki Marae uh, when the British first started at Rawini. So that's that's hooked up to Te Unga Waka Marae where I've been having a hui just today and yesterday. I had a I had a hui on that marae, and they let me have the marae any time I want. So that was going to hook that marae with that title up to up to the British title there for Auckland up to uh, Taheke Marae where it all started and ends there. Then I'll take Cook Street after that. That that'll wrap that up and and but. Um, uh, Bundy been mischief to, to take all my stuff and he gone uh, uh, gone with uh, with uh, 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 Georgie Job and the Maori government and they left me out. They left me out and and the the, the uh, um, Hama Apiata booted me off the Morai. That's why I never never got anywhere. That when I was supposed to turn up on the twenty eighth. Uh, Coco, Coco, uh, or Christina Jackson, she's that uh, that woman man for I'm looking. She lives in uh, in uh, 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 I stayed at her place because I had nowhere to stay. Oh, I stayed at Port Hoseman. She yanked me out of there and took me to her home. But then she said she's going away for that day somewhere and she'll be back to pick me up because I I needed a ride to get to to uh, to Tiki on a twentieth. But she never came back. And I got stuck at her place. I had no credit on my phone. I had no, no, no thing. Because I went down the library just up the road across from her and I printed my book up to go and present on that day, but I never got there to present it. Then when I went up late that night, uh, that's when Hama come out of the Kohanga Reo and told me to get the hell off the, off the marae. And, and then uh, I said, no, the Tomato all sacked me off the Marae, not you, but he's the new secretary of the of the trust. He, I said, no, I'll listen to the Tomato. I said, no, you listen to me, he said. I'm in charge here. And then and then Ken Brown was over there strutting his stuff in the tent. He said, you have to come through me because I'm in charge of the food, the kai. You see, so I thought, hello, what the hell's going on here? And then if that wasn't enough, the next day, at five o'clock in the morning at the popo, then Hama grabs me right in front of everybody and, and pushes me with his chest right off out of it. Right when they were in the cruckiest, where I was there, I was filming Bundy and them, and then he just came straight up me and pushed me like a bulldozer off out. And that was the end of that. Yeah. Was that on the mind? Eh? Was that on the mind? Yeah, that was the, the, the following day. On, on, on the 28th, because the 27th, that, that's when you were there. And I said, there's King, they said, you're gone. I said, oh, I'm going back to Auckland. And that was the 27th when I, I, I went there late at, um, at night. I arrived, I arrived there late at night because Coco left me at her house and then I got somebody to take me there. Because it's Pakaru down at James, I just came back from there. I, I went down, I, I've got to get the parts now and go back and get it. The, the hose blew at the back of the motor, so I had to strip the top off and get the inlet manifold gasket busted and water everywhere. So I got to get the inlet manifold gasket and two hoses, and then I go back and get it again. I came from there. Uh, I came from up north and uh, went down to pick my car up and fix it up. Now, eh? No, no, I no. I've got to go back with the parts. I got to get the the right parts for it, uh, and that means ordering the parts. That'll be cost a fortune as well. And then I've got to go back on the bus again and go and, go and fix it up and, and, and bring it back. Where is it? Is that Jamie's place? Yeah, I don't know where Jamie lives. Whakatane. Oh, yeah. Whakatane, yeah, Whakatane. i just come back from there. And, uh, but, um, um, and then I had to race back to my hui in, in, in Te Unga Waka Marae today, uh, yesterday. i just come back from Te Unga Waka Marae now. Um, and had the hui there to take that, uh, to take that uh, native court there to Tahike and open. That's an original native court in Tahike that did all those native titles. That's why Morris Baker's got those native titles. That, that, that he don't pay rates on any of those Ken Rocks, but he got them back. 
and he won't show anybody those documents that he he, he got out of the council and, and out of the Maryland court. He's got them stitched up because he his first wife was Wirimu Wirimu's sister. You see, I know I know now a bit more about what's happening up there. But he's gone under those old Rawani uh, titles when the British came in there. You see, they split all the big blocks. He's got the big blocks of that uh, Hori Tikuri. He's got he, Hori Tikuri is buried just at the back of that house he's in. It's a little church, just a right in the church. And he said to me, do you know what this house is? I said, no, it looks a bit run down. It looks like it's, the roof is leaking and all that. He said, no, that's a church. That's the Ratna church right there. And it's got a big haki in there. And, they, and he said, uh, the Ratna church, church said, give it back, but it's got tai haki on it. You see? Yeah, they were, this was right in front of the Pope at 5 o'clock in the morning when, when uh, the dawn service on the 28th. That's when I got put off and that was the end of me. And did you go? Yeah, I went there. I went there late on 27th at night, but I wasn't there when you, you were there during the day when they were doing presentations or whatever. I wanted to be there on the 27th. But so when, they, when they put you off, you went? Yeah, well, I, I, I didn't go in the Marae or didn't go for a fee. I, I just backed up and went. went. There was, How did you go? Eh? I went with, uh, with uh, oh, how did I go? I went with, no, Thing took me. Uh, uh, Morris, Morris, Morris took me and took me back to his home with that church. Morris, Morris, Morris came down to that dawn service and then, uh, then Manahi told me, oh, there's, there's Morris there. And I said, where? There. So Morris didn't know. He just turned up and picked me up and took, took me out of there when, when he, he saw what was happening to me. Yeah, and he took me to his place. That's where I got to have a look at all his titles. You see, that's where I knew about Taiki. And, and, and Bundy said to me, No, uh, don't have the hui up at Taiki. The man has a titi. And so uh, Bundy, uh, Bundy joined up with Georgie Job and the Maori government and Calvin Davis. And uh, what the Ratna shirt said, they're going to, when I went to Nuki's funeral, right? I went to Nuki's funeral and they let me go inside, and by, uh, Bryce, and, and then I sat there, but I heard what the, the Ratana minister said. He said this, oh, we are now going to stop the government going to Ratana. And that's when they the, they got this thing with Ratana Church to stop the government so that they can open the upper house in Titi, if you didn't know, I'm just telling you. That's what happened. And when I heard, I heard with my own ear, Eh? I'm thinking there's too much of this bloody politics going on for me. Yeah, that's right. This was a... This bloody was, upper house, bloody lower house. And yeah, that, 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 that's that gone mischief. American and all this bloody that, shit is confusing me. Yeah, so just coming from that lot, they have booted me out and they, they said, no, uh, we're cutting you loose, John. This is what Paul and them said at Hokula. We're cutting... And Danny, Danny Watson said, John, we're cutting you loose and letting you go and do what you want, but leave us to do what we're doing with the fucker media. And so that was in of me, there. Well, I just got a, I just got a message from them. Coming when it's been to have a, come to Yeah, well, I won't go there anymore. I, I'm only going to Morris's place and Taki and Marae from now. I said, what's the meaning for? He said, the fucking meaning. I said, the 28th was the time to discuss those issues, you not in Pura. Buddy. Well, they've taken over. They've, they've, they've got, they've, this is where I'm saying Bundy's in the middle of that and abandoned me and took all my stuff. Yeah, that's but... I can't, I can't understand what the fuck's going on. Yeah, well, that's it. Uh, well, I don't know either because I didn't see it. I'm, I'm yeah. not... I was going... One, one minute Bungie's with you and next minute he's with another group. You know, he's taking all my stuff and he's, he's picking bits out of it and, and then running with whatever I've, I've done and, and, and formed his own opinions. I know. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. You've got me all confused. I'm all right. I'm on the right track, but they are not. I'm, I'm sticking with the, the, what I know to be working, and so far I'm working, they're not. They're going to come to us screaming, oh! That's why Sue Nicole rang me up and says, what's going on with Georgie Job? She, she don't know what Georgie Job is doing with the married government, because Alfred and Georgie Job is gone with Bundy, joined hands with uh, Calvin Davis, gone along with the Labour government, and they've gone along with the Ratna, and left me right out of it. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So, I know.
Yeah, that's what she has done. I said to Sue, Sue, Georgie's job is gone without you. And they've gone, and they've made an agreement, they made a proclamation, they made a proclamation, swore it, and gone with it. And let me right out of it. Because I, I wasn't going that way anyway. That's right. That's why. That's why they think they can do it. But I tell you what, it's going to collapse. And that's what Sue said. What did I see? I said I never saw what they were doing. And and Porto and them have written me off. I was going to Porto Hui, but they wasn't going to listen to bar what I said. But they supported and signed the, all of my documents. Uh, documents. But they said, John, we're cutting you loose. But they, they've taken my documents that they signed and they started to use that without me. And I said, well, um, you stick with the British, we're going to go this way with the fuckamini. I said, well, I can't do anything about that because all your fellows are banded up and, and gone that way and left me for dead. And Morris has come and picked me up. So Morris has got me now. Yeah, so I'm, 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 I'm out of it. I'm out of them all together. I'm just going down the path I always went. Yeah. Uh, and, and so I'm just sticking with Morris that what I know, uh, what I know, how, how he's been keeping quiet with what he does from them because he knows they'll shit it all up. He's got all these land blocks, he's got all these land blocks from the Crown and they can't make him pay rates because he knows what to do. You don't have to pay rates. Yeah, I know, but... That, um, yeah, I know, but I'm listening to what he, he's, he's been successful at. I'm not listening to those other ones because they haven't done what he's done. And he's not about to tell them either. Because they won't they listen to him. Well, Tracy thinks that I didn't talk because I ran away from her. Yeah, so um, I, I, I wasn't there to see you there because I, I didn't stay there long. I got shoved out of the place. Yeah. In fact, I, I can't go back there anymore. Why? Because of those mongrels on the Tomata have kicked me out. Oh no, I'm just staying out of the way for now because of what they they made a, a decision amongst themselves how they're going to boot the government down. That doesn't really bloody matter. Mm. You can't pick people off the mind. Yeah, well, they, they did it in front of the, the, the tupunas, the, the, the Tauranga did it. They did it right under those popos. But just stay there. Mm. You don't, don't, don't really take any notice. No. The mind is the mind. Mm. And uh, yeah, me, I've been going there to try and help the buggers, but they won't listen. They just pick up what they want and take off, and think they can do it. They think they can do it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So that's that's what they're doing. They're picking bits of information and trying to trying to think they can do things, and I just I just have to sit and watch where it goes, and I know where that's gonna go. And I went to Nookie's funeral. Yeah. They, they don't know what they're doing. Yeah, they don't know what they're doing. But I heard more when I went to look at... Right? Yeah, I know, but I, I, how many of them were at, at, at Nookie's funeral? When I went inside, they was eyeing me up. And, uh, I was waiting for someone to punch me in. And and Bryce said, you go and you take that chair over there. And when I went in there, they were sitting there and uh, ribbing at them. I thought, hello, something's going to happen to me. No, but nothing happened. As soon as it finished, I took off. I didn't go to any of the I took off. Because Morris said, get out of there. Because he was waiting on the road for me. He said, you go and pay your respects. Go inside there and, and then get the hell out of it. So that's what I did. As soon as, as, soon as they came out, the, 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 the coffin went away to bury. I went the other way back, back out of it, back, uh, back to Morris's place. I was there on the first day. Yeah, I was there on the day they went to bury him. Hmm. Oh, okay. How's things anyway? All right. Oh, okay, that's good. That's good because I, I've been I've been out of touch with you for a while, and and uh, and uh, just uh, you know just haven't bothered because I was busy trying to finish this thing off. I'm just about to take Cook Street on about the after the 18th when I have the Hui Taika Taika Marai, and that's it. I'm I'm gonna move and get the damn thing right in front of the nose. All right? Okay. Okay then. Bye. Bye. Yeah, that's key. Oh man. 
Oh, I gotta finish my life today. Let me show you what I was about. Um, hang on, I just finished writing a note to my my sweet hot discussion. Right, now, this is what happened. I just called Kingy to catch up with him because I've been out of touch with him for a long time. Oh. Okay, that's my, my darling. So, um, this is the first call I had for a long time with Kingy. And um, just to catch up with what's happening, see, he's just told me that Napo is confused. Uh, and um, that's why it's because the titles and the whakapapa is all up to hell. And that's what has gone wrong. The Crown and the Iwi Māori have stuffed up the Māori people, good and proper. So that's what I want to tell them. It's going to end very soon at Taheke Marae Native Court, which was the beginning and is the end of all that Iwi Māori corruption and fraud inside the New South Wales New Zealand company corporate crown system that caught out checkmate on the Refa Refa Manukau Sale and Purchase Agreement to Rogan in the book. I'm going to finish the book off and put in Morris Baker's British titles, deeds, back behind Refa Refa Manukau Deeds, title, sale and purchase agreement, private contract, commercial contract between Refa Refa Manukau and Rogan of his Pukekoe native land, Sam. He sold it because it was going to get taken anyway. And the same with his ancestor, Tira Waikato Whare Here Here Manukau. That name was forged as well. They forged the Refa Refa Manukau name, the British, uh, not the British, the New South Wales Pirates and New Zealand Government Crown, Iwi Maori Pirates, third party, to a two party contract between Te Rawakato and Wharehere Manukau, male, chief, paramount, and King George IV, 1820 to 1830, period of time of his. <coughs> Royal um, Government Crown Patent Land Patents. And so King William IV succeeded to King George IV, his brother, 
1830 to 1837, that title transferred from Whare Here Here Manukau, male, chief paramount, to Rewha Rewha Manukau, chief paramount of Pukekoe district in that region of <coughs> South Auckland on the Manukau Harbour, south, Afetu, on the Manukau Marae, his Marae. His ancestors Marae is in the Waikato area, backed onto the Auckland area um, um, of Te Waikato in Mangatauturi, or Cambridge, Waikato Districts County. And so, the Franklin County area is Pukekohe, the greater area of this Rewha Rewha Manukau that I had a hui for, or meeting yesterday, to mark his anniversary of the 11th of November 1862, sale of Pukekohe, Franklin area, county district to Rogan, British land agent, Crown. Corporation, Westminster Parliament, Government, Britain, UK, King William IV, Rainy Mother. Okay? So those two titles, a private contract, contract with this flag, here. Mm. Not what the fucker Minninga is doing with this flag. It's got nothing to do what they're doing. Absolutely nothing, because they don't know anything about contract law, have no contract, no title, no British connection, and no chief to talk about in this commercial enterprise. Okay, so that's why King is confused, because it's put his status as the oldest chief in a threatening, threatening situation on his title, <coughs> Queen Victoria. He has more right to Queen Victoria in this country and its New South Wales titles than any of those guys in the Whakaminia who have no title to Queen Victoria that made all this contest with King William IV. So Kingy is right. He's a King Edward line, not a King William line, but his successor was King Vic Queen Victoria, South Australia, to Queen Elizabeth. So he has that going for him. That's what I always say. That's your title on that Titi Maroi, Kingy, not these other monkeys. They can't talk like that. But I'm keeping check on everything of what mischief there is. They're going to get a pound note on their head under this contract with this flag and a commercial trading bank contract that's already running. It's running. Live and lethal with the acts of King William IV, 1830 to 1837. Period. Bundy, you cut yourself off from me and said, Danny said, Danny Watson from Waitara said, John, we're cutting you free, cutting you off. And you can carry on what you're doing. And Bundy signed it, Hiruini Karaka signed it, and Manahi Parapara Mohini signed it. Manami Mahi Moriori for Marikau, direct line of descent, has more right what I'm saying with this Refa Refa Manukau title in Pukekohe over Auckland and the Manukau Harbour, the Manukau everything with that name. That name is copyright and patent to King George the Fourth, 1828-1837. That name Manukau is fixed as a commercial trading bank contract. That's it. It's a native title in capital letters.
commercial landowner of this whole country, New Zealand and Pacific Island, and all the native countries in the world, using that Refa Refa Manukau 1862 Native Land Act for all the indigenous countries in the world using that Native Land Act 1862 and its modifications with that name Refa Refa Manukau on it. The other name is Tira Waikato in Kaipara. Te Uriaho fashioned the name Tira Waikato into a woman and stole that half of the Manukau Paramount Chief. You see? Now, they're going to get the bill. They're going to get the, all their land stripped off them by me, the executor of that Moriori Manukau Trust. Now, Manahi was oblivious to this, didn't know all this because it was a secret. Nobody's supposed to know this. It was a Freemason's top bank secret. The Paramount Chiefs are the word of British literature and legal documents. That's why Bundy won't use it, because he has no title to Paramount Chief. What I've got on our documents is Paramount Chief applies to myself to use that term and money. I've put it there with Bundy them to support that Paramount Chief. He's staying Ariki, does not have money. The Ariki does not have commercial contracts. The Whakameninga has no commercial contract. The contract rested with this Manukau chief and Te Rawakato Manukau chief. He can't touch those names. Bundy told me that Waikato comes from up there. Waikato is everywhere in this country. Waikato actually legally owns this country outright from 1820. That's the commercial. That's what made all the money in the world. Bundy. And that belongs down in Mangatoto. In the Waikato is not up there in the north. That's not the Waikato County. It's down there in Cambridge, Hamilton. That's the Waikato district. The Franklin district, part of the Waikato district, and the Manukau district, and the Auckland district, all wrapped around the Manukau name. No other name. Just the Manukau, Moriori, Paramount Chief's name. That's why I'm picking one chief, Hori, Te Kuri, to see which Kuri is the right Kuri that the British picked to make all the money out of the land in Taheke and Rawini and Waimana, Waimana and Hokianga, all those districts. You shouldn't be poor over there because those Pākehās are living in Rawiri, living quite comfortably on your land, and you're not. So I'm going to help Morris because he knows what titles are, he knows what deeds are. He's taught himself without lawyers and barristers and Crown corporations. He's done it himself. Now, how many of you people in Ngāpui or anywhere else have done something like him. That's why I've got a lot of time for him. Because I am the one to understand all those documents he got and teach him what they mean. I've got plenty of time for Morris because he's got his ancestor's brain in his head. I've got the Cosgrove's lawyer's brain in my head and the Rogan's brain in my head for judges and courts. They married the they married the Wano and the Manager and form their titles out of those two surnames because they are paramount chiefs. Dead. Now, Manahi is a JP, he's a Justice of the Peace, but he's a direct bloodline learning all about commerce because they never had that word in their head all this time. None of Maori had this commercial bank trading flag of money. This is money, gold and everything that seizes on ships. These eight points star seizes property from other countries on this foreign policy of magistrate courts. You can't do it anywhere else. You can't use any other court system. 
to go into other countries with a foreign policy because it's a ship mint and manifestation of shipment. Price positions that are taken by a ship in the first place, now aircraft, that's a ship too, spaceships and that's ships as well. And citizenships, that's another ship. Citizenship is somebody birthed it, you, the vessel. They make you a ship too. They make you push you off the edge into the sea and drown you and take your birth certificate. So all those things are what confuses Maori, because they don't learn how it works. I've had uh, Dion uh, uh, Walker with me, and he's learned such a lot from me, uh, just with him being around with his guitar and, and waiata, I'm going to put it on uh, YouTube, uh, with us and our hui and Tiwanga Waka Marae. And then Willie Peter rings me up and says, oh, where are you? I'm having my hui, but I can't get in the marae. The marae that they come from Pangaroo and go to the marae there. He says, oh, just have it outside. So I said, no, I don't have it outside. I'm, waiting. I'm trying to find a key. I can't find a key. But anyway, and it took the key home because uh, it wasn't safe to leave it there for me. Uh, so, and then I found a number in my book. I, 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 I've got so many numbers that I forgot. But anyway, I rang her up and we had our hui. It late. And she took part in it because it's for her and that land that she's sitting on. Because I'm in the land industry of legal titles, transfer of titles and transactions and money made from titles of land, birth certificates and every other asset that's been turned into money, gold and all that, for the king. So I'm talking for the king, not the queen, for the king. Anyway, that's what I want to say. I'm getting a bit tired. And I uh, just gotta, might go up to the gym and have a swim or something, or just fall asleep. Uh, because it's stressful. All these things on Mariah are stressful. Uh, because of trying to break new ground and pioneer and pioneer new ideas to make our South go back on the land. I can't even get on my own land box, let alone uh, uh, Morris has got his land. Uh, and if I only got on land to, to do something with it, I would, but uh, not yet. But I ran, uh, I got a call from Sue Nakora, so she wanted to get in touch with Kingi, but they're not talking to each other either. Uh, so um, um, uh, let's see if he talks to her, uh, because I told her, him that um, she went for a call from him. But uh, the way I'm hearing it, that he doesn't want anybody in his road on Titi Marae. I don't blame him. They're running rings around that marae and ignoring him, the oldest on that marae. That's how it works. The oldest holds the mana of that marae, no matter what. And I've always stuck with Kingi for over 20 years in what we believe to be right, but the other ones don't think so. They've got their own ideas, and it's just going to collapse. Everything that they're doing in the opposite direction is going to collapse, including the Maori government. It's going to collapse because they've got no identity anywhere in the world apart from what they say, the first thing the British ask or any other country is, where's your title? Who is your authority from? And what gives you the right to take this country over when you haven't got any money or a means of uh, trade with an authority of your own self? And they'll say, first thing they'll say is, who are you? How long have you been doing this? What do you expect to achieve? Are you going to woo everybody behind you? Is you going to uh, uh, please the, all of those people living in New Zealand or are you going to sack them all out and put somebody in there that you want? Or have you got an army to protect your business? Or how are you going to survive against the competition that's sitting on these lands with all the money? What, what are you going to do about them? See? So those are the things you're taking into consideration, let alone having a title and some sort of authority yourself and a track record, this particular track record of how long you've been doing what you're doing there. That, that matters. That matters in mind. And a title to your own land. See, okay, that's all. Uh, we'll end it here. And uh, today is uh, Sunday, the 
uh, 12th of November 2017. I just wish you a good day and um, I'll be back to work now. Have a rest and um, do some work. Bye for now. See you later.